Hi. What'd you do, get lost? I'm starving. A large party came in, so I had to stay late. Got you some food, though. We've been waiting all day to just sit down and watch TV with you. Ugh, a burger again? It's like three nights in a row. Sorry, that's all I could get. Okay, I'll have that. I'll make you something from the fridge. Okay, so we don't have any groceries, so we're gonna have to share. Share this tiny little burger. Ah, oh, I'm so sick of this, Wendy. I'm sorry, are you mad at me or something for coming home late or? No, I'm not mad at you, Wendy. I am mad at the situation. I always imagined that before having kids, we'd have a nice house, a nice car. Instead, we're living in this dump having to eat tiny little burgers from diners every night. Okay, well, at least we have food and a car and a roof over our head, and that's more than a lot of people can say. I mean, money is nice, babe, but we have what we need. But I want more than that, Wendy. Uh, you don't understand. I need a way to make some fast cash. Glenn, <laughs> last time you tried to get some fast cash, you almost ended up in jail. So, can we just sit, eat, and watch TV? You go ahead. I'm gonna go for a drive, clear my head, I'll be back. Come on out of here. Come on. Are you having some trouble? I can give you a jump. Wow, you really shouldn't be driving that in this neighborhood. Well, I'm actually moving. I just got into escrow on a beautiful new Tuscan home in the hills. The hills? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, help me understand. You got a new car. New house. Would you win the lottery or something? No. My mother passed away a couple of months ago. She had been really sick. Turns out she had a life insurance policy and named me as a beneficiary. So I got a nice little chunk of change. Life insurance? Mm hmm. That's it. Wait! Do you still need a jump? That was fast. What are you looking for? Babe, what are you looking for? Aha! I knew I had it here somewhere. This is the life insurance policy I took out when we first got married. This is for half a million dollars, and you are the beneficiary. Okay. I don't see where this is going, but... Don't you see? This can solve all of our money problems. <laughs> yeah, if you were dead, knock on wood. All right, I'll be hiding out at Ron's up in Stockton. In two days, you will report me missing to the police. They will find my wallet and the car by the ocean and assume no, that I'm dead. No, Glenn. No. This, this is crazy. Do you even know how illegal this is? Besides, it's not going to work. You can't, you can't just hide out forever. I don't have to hide out forever. With a half a million bucks, I can get all the plastic surgery in the world. Plus, I know a guy who can give me a whole new identity. Driver's license, social. Everything. Absolutely not. Hey, you're taking this way too far. Look, Glenn, I know that our life is really stressful right now. But we'll figure it out like we always do. 
you're making our life seem so much harder than it really is. And even if we had more money, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Yes, it is, Wendy. When our grass is dead, babe, we are always behind on our rent. Our car won't even start. We barely have enough food to eat. Is this really how you want to spend the rest of your life? And more importantly, is this the kind of life you want to give to our daughter? I am doing this for all of us. Well, I'm not doing it. Under any circumstance. I didn't want to have to go here. But either you go along with my plan, or you never see me again. What's it gonna be? Be broke and be a single mom raising a baby all on her own? Or be rich and happy? The choice is yours. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Weston. The car was abandoned right outside the pier. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we also found this on the shore. You know, we haven't recovered a body yet, but wanted to let you know. I'm sure this is an incredibly difficult time for you. If you had life insurance or anything like that, you may want to contact them. I'll be in touch. But please don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. You have my card. Thank you, miss. Can I see your ID, please? Uh, would you mind taking off your glasses for me? Thank you. You're welcome. And that'll be all hundreds, correct? Yes, please. Thank you. I'll be right back, okay? Miss Weston! I need to talk to you. Is everything okay? You forgot your purse. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. And be careful of all that cash. You wouldn't believe what people do for money. Thank you, sir. For someone who just got half a million dollars, you don't look too happy. I'm supposed to be a grieving widow, remember? <laughs> right. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. 
Can you believe it, honey? We're rich. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. What's the plan now, Glenn? Oh, it's not Glenn anymore. It's Raymond Lee. It's got a nice ring to it, right? Yeah, sure. All right. You drive back to LA, and I'll follow you, and then we'll drop off the rental. Go from there. Till then, can you at least try to be happy? At least while you're with me. Don't. You gotta check in. My wife was just in a car accident. She came in through an ambulance. Do you know where she is? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, let me look. First, uh, what's your name? Gla uh, Ra Raymond Lee. Raymond Lee. Okay, can I see your ID, please, Miss Lee? Can you please hurry up? I really need to make sure that she's okay. Is her name Wendy Weston? Uh huh. Okay. Please put your finger right here. Okay. She's the first one on the left down the hall. Mr. Weston? Uh, no, Mr. Lee, my wife kept her maiden name. Is she okay? Is, is the baby okay? Well, she's gonna... Yeah, uh, can, can I talk to him for a second, please? Alone? Sure, I'll give you two minutes. Thank you. Careful, careful. I'm okay, okay? The baby's okay. I can't feel my legs. The doctor said we're gonna have to go into surgery right away. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Whatever it takes. You'll be 100% okay though, right? Yeah. I'll be okay. It was just, it was a hit and run. We only have vehicle coverage, so we're gonna have to pay out of pocket. It's not cheap. Thank God we have that money. <sighs> How much money are we talking about? $500,000. What? That's all our money.
Hi there. Hi. I'm here to ask about a patient, uh, Wendy Weston. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry. She is no longer with us. What? Wendy's gone? Yes, uh, for a couple of months now. I can't believe this. How about the baby? Did the baby, the baby survive? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I meant gone as in she was discharged. They're perfectly fine, as far as I know. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Glenn? Wendy. God, I'm so glad that you're okay and you can walk. <laughs> How are we so nervous and worried about you? Is that so? What? Of course. You're my wife. Is my daughter here? Mm. Why are you being so cold? I, I thought you'd be excited to see me. You thought I would be excited to see you after you abandoned me at the hospital? I was so naive to think that you would come back. Thank God nothing was actually wrong with me. Wendy, you don't understand, okay? I only left... What do you mean nothing was actually wrong with you? I made it up. I didn't actually need surgery. I just wanted to see what you would do. You know, it's funny because this whole time you said that you were doing this for us. But clearly, you were doing it just for yourself. No, I wasn't. I only left because I saw the security and I got scared. I'm sorry, but you have to believe me. I'll never believe another word you say, Glenn. Now excuse me. Hold on. I am so sorry about everything. But I realize now that you were right. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. I guess it took me having all that money to see that I was actually happier before with our tiny little apartment and our broken down car and even having to eat dinner from a diner every night. I would rather be broke in living with you and our daughter than having that life, I swear to you. Hmm. Who says I'm broke? Now, if you don't mind, I need to get ready to leave. The movers are gonna be here soon. Wait. You're moving? Yes. I bought a house in the hills, and I'm taking Hallie, and I'm living there with my mom. How? You don't have any money. Actually, I do. The cops found the guy that hit me, and I got a pretty big insurance check. A million dollars, to oh be exact. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Honey, we're millionaires. This is the best news ever. No, no. I'm a millionaire, not you. You can't do that. We're married, and this is California. Everything we have is 50-50. Hmm. Yeah, that might have been true, but you're forgetting something. You're dead, remember? Have a nice life, Glenn, or whatever your name is. <laughs> Wendy, please, give me one more chance. I have nothing without you. Can you at least let me see the baby, please? Glenn Weston. What? No, I'm not Glenn Weston. My name is Raymond Lee. Glenn Weston is dead. Oh, yeah? Then how was he able to scan his finger at the hospital a few months ago? You're under arrest for identity theft and life insurance fraud. No, please. No, please. I can't go to jail. Wendy, please. Hold on, baby. Mama's coming. 